creating the artwork she loves is now a harder, slower process for Carol, whose neck and back muscles twist and lock. Her rare condition, dystonia, developed late in life and took two years to diagnose. It was really, really frightening. And I thought, oh, well, what, what have I got? Is, is, it, you know, is it Parkinson's? Is it, is it something that's got, have I got MS? You know, what, why, is, why is my body doing it? Why do I feel so tired? Why do I feel so in pain? Is it a psychological thing? And, and, and this is a big, this happens all the time with dystonia patients. Dystonia is a neurological disorder affecting around 70,000 people where the brain sends faulty signals, causing muscles to spasm and pull incorrectly. Symptoms include neck contractions, hand cramps, a strained voice or choking on words and uncontrollable shaking all easily confused with other illnesses, so campaigners want the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence to push for greater understanding of dystonia. We would like NICE to issue guidelines for the diagnosis and for the management of the condition. That could make a real difference. It will help to raise awareness among GPs. There is treatment out there. Dystonia isn't curable, but it can be treated. So this lays over the brain pacemaker which is in the end carol had surgery a pacemaker was fitted under her chest to send control signals up to her brain a major operation but it helps her symptoms and just having that all important diagnosis was a huge step relief huge relief because you just you do think what what is going on that really made a difference that i could say what it was i knew that I wasn't going to die of it. It was going to affect my life. There was a sadness there because I knew that it wasn't going to go away. Carol hopes that sharing her story might help others on their own road to diagnosis. Peter Lane, Five News.